you so wanted this one thing when you were growing up as a kid, and then Christmas morning came, and just like the Christmas story, the Red Ryder BB gun, kid, you'll shoot your <laughs> eye out, it wasn't under the tree. Or maybe, like the Christmas story, it was the very last present. Who knows? <laughs> We'd love to hear from you. It's Rob and Liz, his radio, 800-447-7234. Joyce said when she was in first grade, she wanted this game that was based on the movie The Blob. Uh -huh. And it was like glow in the dark. You played it in the dark and that kind of thing. She said, I was so disappointed that I never got it. Um, I looked it up. She can buy it on eBay. For <laughs> how much? Really expensive. $265. Ooh. I know, right? Maybe just oh. keep it there. Yeah. Uh, and then Brenda said for Christmas, I wanted, and I remember this, Rock'em Sock'em Boxing Ring. Oh, yeah. But her parents were like, you're a girl. You don't need to be fighting. Oh. And so <laughs> she never got it. And I was like, I remember having one of those. It was so much fun. Did you have one? I My did. neighbors had them. So I was able oh, to go yeah. next door and play that rocket sucking. That was fun. <laughs> there were robots. Yeah, yeah. Hit their head off. Their hair goes thring, way up in the <laughs> air. The whole knockout thing. That was pretty cool. Oh, cool. 800-447-7234. So what about you? You're on his radio. I remember when I was in grade school, I was probably maybe third grade, fourth grade. And um, there was this Transformer that came out. It was so cool. I honestly, at that time, it was one of the coolest, coolest, coolest Transformers ever. It, its name was Polar Claw. And it was a polar bear that would transform into one of the, the robots, one of the Transformers, one of the Autobots. And uh, I was looking forward to it, looking forward to it, and then unfortunately Christmas came and I never got it. It oh. was just so sad. But um, it still was a beautiful Yeah, wasn't it? Oh, I'm Aww. so sorry. I'll tell you what I always got for Christmas. Yeah? Hot Wheels or Matchbox cars. In the stocking, yes. Yeah, I can see that for sure. They only cost about 50 cents. <laughs> yeah, my mom could afford that. So I had yeah. a really healthy supply of those cars. His morning crew. There may have been a moment in your life that God just drastically changed you. There's this one gentleman who's in the Raleigh area that started listening to his radio. And he said, listen, I grew up in a culture that just hates people who don't think the way that we think. And I was so bad, I wanted to hurt people who didn't think the way that I think. And then I started listening to his radio. And then my mind started to change. And I started seeing that, wow, you love me. God loves me. Today, that man no longer believes that way, so much so that he's forsaken that religion, and he's a pastor at a church today. A pastor. And it all started because he tuned into his radio. Hi, it's Rob and Liz. We're glad you're along with us on His Morning Crew. And here's one thing I believe. Because people like you give to this radio station, that man's life has changed. And think of how many others' lives are changed because, because they hear that message. I mean, there are stories we will never hear on this earth, but people's lives have been changed because they called a prayer line or they heard an invitation to know more about Christ. And you can be part of that uh, with your support and doing it by the end of the year. It's going to benefit uh, your pocketbook as well because it's going to be a tax write-off for you. Your year-end gift is going to make such a difference. Thank you for believing in this nonprofit listener-supported radio station and we're also supported by businesses but because of 2020 business support has been really really low and so we thank you for being faithful and thank you for giving your gift here's the way you can do that online hisradio.com you can give your gift today through the my his radio app if you're listening through the app or just text the word give to 800-447-7234 rob and liz his morning crew okay your world's gonna change because now Amazon has a self-driving robo-taxi. Excuse me, what now? <laughs> I know, self-driving. No steering wheel, anything. It's a robo-taxi. Right now they're testing it like in Las Vegas, San Francisco, and four city, California. So three cities are doing this. It can go up to 70 miles an hour or 75 miles an hour. Nope. So it won't go past the speed limit. It has these cameras that are external that are 270 degrees view of the road. So it's supposed to have sensors so they know when to stop, when to start, where to turn, all this other stuff. And it's carriage style. And so the doors open up. You walk in. You sit with your back, you know, toward the window. And then uh, so you're facing each other, basically. In right. this thing with four people. No. Mm -mm. Nope. 
not doing it. Technology, when I get around it, goes wonky. I am not getting in this taxi. I will not do it. I'm not doing it. Well, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I trust at this moment right now to jump into something Maybe that is self driving. I don't. I don't even know. You know, it's just crazy. What What scares me. Or concerns me. I don't think I'm scared, but what concerns me is yeah. that there's no manual controls. So if the thing goes off the rails, you can't grab a steering wheel or a pedal to stop anything. It's just, it's just it. And they're testing it. So like this the, thing's driving around. The pit of my stomach is like, Oh no, uh-uh. <laughs> that's not happening. Robin Liz, his morning crew. How about that time when your kids realized? They were singing the lyrics completely wrong. Maybe you had one of those. Oh, that's what they are saying. It's Robin Linus, his morning crew on his radio. I definitely have one. Um, Feliz Navidad. My kids for the longest time, and I did not correct them because it was so cute. Um, I don't think they sing it that way anymore. They're 17 and 19, but they used to sing Felix Habiba. <laughs> Felix Habiba. Yeah, I have no idea. I like it better. I think it's so cute and i remind them every time it comes on that they sing it that way and they're like we know we, we get it <laughs> okay i found a kid on youtube <laughs> singing what he thought was jingle bells but this okay. is how he sings jingle bells jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way all the cars in the street right in the waffle so finsley hey jingle bells jingle bells <laughs> Jingle all the way, oh back fire the desk to right, and the waffle so fancy. Waffle so fancy. <laughs> and it sounds Jekyll like he's though. Scottish. He sounds it Scottish. Does, <laughs> There's a little flair in that thing. I love that kid. <laughs> having, having waffles on your sleigh is really nice. You gotta love it. And Jackal Bill. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. Chances are you just might be on a first name basis with every delivery person in 2020 that comes to your house. Amazon, FedEx, Domino's with a pizza. It's Robin Liz, his morning crew on his radio. Yeah, and Domino's has quite a few employees around the country, like almost 12,000 employees. So I've got some good news on the job front, but I'll get to that in a second. If you already work for Domino's, maybe you already know this. They're going to give their employees bonuses this year. They could get for each employee up to $1,200. Now, I'm sure it depends on how long they've worked there and kind of what they do if they're a manager or whatever. Um, but yeah, yeah. Because their profits are up, because everybody is ordering delivery during the pandemic and the mm -hmm. quarantine, they got a little extra cash. And I love that they're giving it back to their employees. I'm very grateful it's not free pizza for a month, that they're actually right. getting tangible money <laughs> for their bonus. <laughs> okay, let me say nothing wrong with it, but Jelly of the Month Club just doesn't pay the bills. <laughs> Mornings with Rob and Liz. Liz is in the know for you. And I think that you would want to be alerted to this fact that is happening with a certain type of cookie. It's Robin Liz, his morning crew on his radio. This is kind of sad. We have a shortage. There's another shortage. This one's not toilet paper. It's not paper towels. This is a major shortage. Milano cookies. We may not be able mm. to find them on the shelves. Mm. Pepperidge Farm says there are going to be shortages of several different of their varieties, like Chessman and the Linzer cookie, but especially the Milano cookie. I, it's a sad day. Mark it. Wednesday, December 16th. <laughs> we mm -hmm. may not be able to find Milano cookies. But so Campbell's Soup owns this company. They also said that goldfish and soup production is way up because of the pandemic. And there may be a shortage there as well. With goldfish and soup? Yeah. If I can't oh, get split man. pea soup and Milano cookies, I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, thankfully, the fruitcake is still around. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. Mm. Oh, wow. I smell that. And for some reason, mm, I feel thinner. It's Rob and Liz, his okay. morning crew on his radio.
I was getting a complex. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> well, it's not you. I'm virtually so far away from you right oh, now that's right. since I've been at home <laughs> since the surgery. <laughs> yeah, lemons can make you feel thinner. Believe <laughs> Did it or you not. you know this? Just sniff a lemon. Yeah, smelling lemons. <laughs> oh, I feel so much thinner. But what I want to do is. <laughs> what I want to do is on the way home, just go by the grocery store and pick up like a 10 pound bag of lemons and just put them around me all the time. So I feel thin. I know. Isn't that crazy? Some scientists studied this thing. It, it, and here's what else they said. They said not just sniffing the scent of lemons make you feel thinner, but so does stilettos. Huh? Yeah. Smelling the, stiletto heels? It makes you feel... No, you don't sniff the stilettos because okay. that could be foot odor down there, you know? Okay. But if you hear the sound of stilettos like walking across and it's a light footstep, that makes you feel thinner as well. But heavy footsteps and the smell of vanilla makes you feel like you're just... You've ate too much. I Like, what? If I hear somebody walking in stiletto heels, I feel thinner? Yeah. Isn't that nice? <laughs> okay, so I need to have somebody in my life wearing stilettos, mm -hmm. and I need to smell lemons all the time. Thank yeah, you. there you go. You get Joey to wear the stilettos around the house. <laughs> Never. <laughs> While you sniff the lemons. His morning crew. I'm sure you have this routine where you wake up at the same time. Maybe you hit snooze, I don't know, a couple of dozen times before your feet hit the ground. <laughs> I have to get my, 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 uh, my feet on the ground quickly when the alarm clock goes off or I just stay up, stay asleep. But I was reading about Dolly Parton, who's been like in the news for the past, what, couple of months? She's everywhere, saving people's lives. She's got gingerbread houses at Williams Sonoma. She's everywhere. I know. Christmas specials, all that stuff. Well, she was talking about her routine. She mm. gets up at three in the morning and she says Why? she gets her best work done between three and seven o'clock. But she starts her day, mm. and this is so great that she made it a point to say this. I start my day at three a.m. praying. And she says this oh, as good. the start of her prayer every single time. She thanks God for the night. She asks God to bring the right people into her day and to take the wrong people out of her life. Whew, mm. that speaks That's volumes. That's huge. I know, yeah. right? And then she makes herself up after she gets all this work done. So she does get the makeup. She's, she says, I like to stay ready. So I'm always put together. And she has, for the past 57 years, every day that she's at home, makes breakfast for her and her husband. And she also says this, it's not healthy. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't want the healthy stuff. We've been married all these years. But uh, I love, because she, I bet, she makes herself up before he gets out of bed. Oh, I'm sure. I'm yeah, sure. Maintenance, that. maintenance for Dolly. I, I mean, you know, beautiful woman, but she's got a lot going on. I know the maintenance for myself. Mm -hmm. It's going to take a minute. <laughs> I know the maintenance for myself. <laughs> And it takes a second.